Ever feel like your business software is speaking a different language? Uh -huh. Yeah, I know that feeling. Well, today we're diving into something that actually helps you speak the same language, Odoo 18 Studio. It's all about making Odoo work your way. Exactly. It's your shortcut to customizing Odoo without needing to, you know, actually code. Right. It's like Odoo took all the best parts of a toolbox and handed them straight to the people who use the software every day. And we're talking serious power tools here, not just like a hammer and screwdriver. Definitely not. So I want everyone listening to imagine this for a second. You're starting your day, got your to-do list, maybe a cup of coffee. You're ready to tackle those projects and bam, Odoo 18 Studio is right there making every single step of the way smoother. It's about working smarter, not harder, and Wait. Odoo 18 Studio really delivers on that. Okay, so let's talk Kanban boards. A classic for a reason. Exactly. But in Odoo 18 Studio, they've gone from helpful to like, whoa, that's cool territory. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Odoo definitely upped the visual game this time around. Big time. Think about it. Instead of just text on a card, now you can have images right there. I love that. For teams that are working in, say, visual fields design, marketing that is huge for communication and just overall clarity. Absolutely. No more digging through files to try to remember what Project X for Vision 3 actually looks like, right? You've got that visual right there on your board. Exactly. And it's not just about aesthetics either. Imagine you're a sales manager. You're using Kanban to track your leads, right? Being able to see a client's logo, maybe even a snapshot of their social media presence right there on the card. Oh, interesting. That kind of context can completely change how you prioritize and approach each lead. Okay, that's a brilliant point. It's about making those connections faster. Exactly. You can glance at your board and you instantly get the full picture. Right. And it doesn't stop at images, right? I hear Odoo 18 Studio yeah. lets you add custom tags and even like prices to your Kanban cards. Yeah, absolutely. You can really customize those cards to display the exact information you need right at your fingertips. I love that. Need to know the budget for a project without, you know, having to click through a bunch of menus? No problem. You want to filter your sales leads by those who've spent over, say, $5,000. Odoo 18 Studio lets you do that. Wow. And you can do it right there within the Kanban view itself. Okay, so no more jumping between, like, five different screens and reports just yeah. to get those little details. Exactly. That's huge. And those handy, like, side panels, footers, yeah, all those little extras, those are still there. They're even better in Odoo 18 Studio. Think of them as, like, mini dashboards within your Kanban board so you get deeper context without cluttering up the overall view. Nice. And you can even set that Kanban view as the default for certain applications. So. Oh, interesting. If you really love using Kanban, say, for managing your marketing projects, you literally never have to navigate away from that view. That level of customization is just, it's what makes Odoo 18 Studio so powerful in my opinion. It's powerful stuff. It is. But it's not just about Kanban boards, right? <laughs> we got to talk about those Gaunt chart enhancements because I hear project managers, they're going to be stoked about this. Oh, rightfully so. Yeah. Gaunt charts, they're essential, right? Totally. But they can be so clinky to use sometimes. Yeah. Odo 18 Studio, it really addresses a lot of those pain points. And it starts with how you manage date ranges, which I know has been a pain in the past. Date range is always, always a pain point in those older versions. Right. So tell me more about how Odo 18 Studio makes that part smoother. Okay. So picture this. You're looking at a year-long project timeline, right? right? Got it. In the past, if you wanted to zoom in to focus on just a specific week or month, it could be a real hassle. Yeah, it was always kind of a struggle. Right. Odo 18 Studio gives you really fine-tuned control. You can zoom in on a single day if you need to or zoom all the way out to get that big picture view of the entire year. Nice. All within this clean, intuitive interface. So no more like wrestling with the software just to see the details you need. Exactly. Love it. And here's a small detail, but it makes a huge difference. The focuses button. Okay. Let's say you're zoomed in on just like a specific quarter, but then you need to quickly jump back to the current day, right? I've been there. Right. So you just hit that focuses button and boom, you are instantly back to the present day on your timeline. Okay, that's brilliant. No matter how far you've zoomed out. It's those little time savers that really add up, especially when you're someone who is managing a bunch of projects at once. It makes a big difference. It does. It and really does. And, you know, speaking of efficiency, there's another area I wanted to touch on, something that might not always be the most exciting thing to talk about. Okay, I'm intrigued. What is it? Data entry. 
Ah, data entry, right. Uh -huh. The unsung hero of any smooth operation. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. Let's be real for a second. It could be a bit tedious. Oh, absolutely. You got your forms, your fields, all those endless drop-down menus. Right. It's not always the highlight of the workday, is it? No, not really. But that's where Odoo 18 Studio really shines. Oh, okay. Tell me more. They've taken those essential but often kind of annoying tasks, and they've made them a lot more user-friendly. Like, take the new date range widget, for instance. Date range widget. Okay, Sounds but... kind of simple on the surface, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah but it actually gives you a surprising amount of control. Okay, so paint me a picture here. Yeah. How would this date range widget actually work in like a real world scenario? Give me an example. Okay, sure. Let's say you're planning some business trips, right? Okay. Instead of always having both a start date and an end date field, which can be confusing sometimes because you might not know the end date yet. Yeah. You can now set it up so that the end date field only pops up after you've put in a start date. Oh, I like that. Right. So it's like decluttering. It's like presenting the most important information at the exact right time. Exactly. No more getting ahead of yourself with dates that don't even make sense yet. Right, exactly. Or like imagine you're scheduling social media posts. Okay, yeah. A single date field is fine for a regular post, but if you're doing like a multi-day campaign. Right. The date range widget lets you easily define that entire period. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Without making things messy for those one-off posts. Streamlining at its best. I love it. Yeah. And are there even ways to simplify, like, how time is displayed in those date fields as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Odoo 18 Studio, it recognizes that those extra seconds in a timestamp, they're not always necessary. It's true. They can get in the way sometimes. Right. So now you can just choose to only show the hours and minutes. I like that. Much well, cleaner, much easier to read. Exactly. Small change. But I can see it making a big difference mm -hmm. for people who are dealing with, like, a ton of time-sensitive data entry. Mm. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit because there's another really important part of running a business that we need to talk about. Approvals. Oh, yeah. And getting those approvals, it can be such a bottleneck. It can really slow things down. Big time, especially if it's not set up well. For sure. So how does Odoo 18 Studio make this whole approval process better? Well, they really focused on flexibility with this one. Okay, good. They've listened to what people actually need and created a system that can adapt to all kinds of different situations. So it's not like a one-size-fits-all approach, which never really works. Right, exactly. Give me some examples. Like, How does this flexibility actually work in practice? Sure. So let's say you have a situation where one specific person needs to approve, say, certain types of documents. Okay. But you don't want to go through the hassle of creating a whole new user group just for them. Right. With user-based approvals in Odoo 18 Studio, you can just flag that person as the approver. Okay. And the system handles it from there. Okay. So you're not adding all this extra complexity to your user structure. Exactly. That is fantastic. And for those times when you need to actually take a break, which everyone does. Please. Yes. You can actually delegate your approval roles to someone, like a colleague, for a specific time. Oh, that's huge. So things keep moving while you're out. That is a vacation save right there. <laughs> no more coming back to like a thousand emails. Exactly. Love it. Okay, so we've talked about all this amazing customization, but I have to ask. Yeah. How much do you actually need to know, about, like the technical side of things, to actually use these features? Mm -hmm. Asking for uh, a friend who might not be a coding whiz. You well, know? that's the best part. Odoo 18 Studio, it's really designed with the everyday user in mind. Music to my ears. Yeah. Because I have definitely felt that intimidation in the past with other software. Oh, yeah, for sure. But with Odoo 18 Studio, you don't have to be a coder to make some pretty awesome customizations. Okay, that is such a relief to hear. So walk me through it. Let's say someone, they're not a coder, they've never written a line of code in their life. Mm -hmm. How would they go about making like a custom element? What's well, all about drag and drop? Like, let's say you want a button on your task list that instantly marks it as complete. Okay, yeah. You just drag a button widget, drop it right onto the form, tell it what to do. And that's it. That's it. You've got your customized shortcut. No coding boot camp required. Nope. Amazing. Okay, what about style? Can you add a little bit of personal flair? Absolutely. Odoo 18 Studio lets you use what are called bootstrap classes to customize the look and feel of those buttons or really any elements you want. Bootstrap classes. Yeah. Now, for those of us who haven't spent much time in the world of web design, bring that down for me. What exactly are we talking about there? Sure. Think of bootstrap classes like 
pre-designed building blocks for your interface. Okay, yeah. They let you control things like colors, fonts, even the layout. Okay. And you don't have to write any code yourself. Oh, perfect. So if you want your button to really stand out with your brand colors, bootstrap classes make it easy. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. So it's like choosing from a design menu, not having to create everything from scratch. Exactly. Functionality and aesthetics. Yeah. I am here for it. And here's the best part. You can easily move all those customizations to different Odoo environments. Oh, nice. So you can try things out, experiment a little in your demo environment. Right. And once you're happy with it, just seamlessly bring it into your live system. Smart. That's huge for not breaking things, which I know we all worry about. For sure. Okay, before we move on, I want to make sure we loop back to those Gaunt charts because we're not quite done with those upgrades, are we? Definitely not. We're just getting started. You mentioned some really cool things about their visual organization. Oh, yeah. Odoo 18 Studio really takes those already powerful gaunt charts to a whole other level. Remember when we talked about that improved date range control and how easy it is to zoom in and out? Yeah, it's a game changer. Well, now imagine being able to add these custom labels to your timelines. Okay, so I'm picturing this right. What would I use those custom labels for? Give me an example. Well, they're perfect for highlighting those really important milestones or deadlines directly on the chart. So, you know, if you want a visual reminder of, say, a big client presentation coming up. Right. Or a product launch or something. Exactly. You just add a custom label right there on the timeline. Talk about keeping everybody on the same page. That's awesome. Right. And to make it even easier to navigate those really complex projects, you can now group data by their different stages. Oh, interesting. So let's say you have a project that has a research phase, then a development phase, and then a final launch phase. Okay, yeah. You can group the tasks for each of those phases together right there on the timeline. That is so much easier than like scrolling back and forth, trying to keep track in your head. It's so much more visual. It is. All of this honestly sounds amazing. Mm. But I have to ask, with this much power, this much flexibility, are there any downsides we should be thinking about? Yeah, that's a really good question. It's like with any powerful tool, right? You got to use it strategically. Oh, yeah. Odoo 18 Studio, it's incredibly empowering for users. But Odoo itself, they actually recommend a balanced approach to customization. Okay, so it's about finding that sweet spot. Like knowing when to use the really cool, easy tools, but then also knowing when to call in maybe someone with a little bit more experience. Exactly, yeah. And that's especially true for like larger companies. Makes sense. Because, you know, Odoo 18 Studio makes it so easy to just jump in and customize without needing to write any code. Right. But it can be really valuable to have a developer involved, at least to make sure those customizations are going to work well in the long run. Yeah, it makes sense. Especially if you have a lot of compliance integrations or your system is already pretty big. It's like, I don't know, it's like building a house. Right? Yeah. You might be comfortable doing some of the little projects yourself, maybe painting a wall or something. Yeah. But when it comes to the foundation. Exactly. You call it an expert, right? <laughs> call it contractor, for uh, sure. You don't want to mess with that. And that actually reminds me testing. It's so important. Oh, yeah. Good point. One of the great things about Odoo 18 Studio is it really encourages you to test things out first, you know, before you make those changes to your real system. So it's like having a like a test kitchen almost for your business software. Exactly. You can try out new things without the risk of ruining the entire meal. Exactly. It's all about making sure that the changes you make are actually going to improve your workflow, not mess it up. A recipe for success. <laughs> I love that analogy. Okay, so for our listeners out there, they're either already using Odoo or maybe thinking about it. What's like the biggest takeaway here? What should they be thinking about in relation to Odoo 18 Studio? I think the biggest thing is that Odoo 18 Studio really does let you make the software work your way, like we were saying before. Right, it gives you that power. And it's all about using these tools to work smarter, not harder. Love that. But it's also about being smart about it. You know, use those user-friendly tools when you can, but don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. So true. Yeah. Don't be afraid to bring in that expert when you need to. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been such a great conversation. I feel like we've learned so much about Odoo 18 Studio today. So many powerful features. It's impressive. And that flexibility. I love that it's really focused on letting the users kind of take control. I agree. It's really exciting to see where Odoo is going, especially with this new version. Me too. It's yeah. really impressive. So as we wrap up here, I want to leave everyone with this. Think about your business software. What's that one thing you would love to be able to customize? Ooh, good question. What would make your workday a little smoother, 
a little bit more efficient or even just more enjoyable? Yeah. Let us know. And until next time, thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive. Thanks for having me.